Swimming was something we had anxiously waited to do for many months. Schools have been closed to prevent the spread of COVID-19 pandemic. All we did was stay indoors and we couldn't see any of our friends. For AJ and I, those were times we had never experienced before. Every day was dull and boring because we could not meet anymore. We couldn't do fun things together the way we always had. Our parents worked from home and many people couldn't carry on with life as usual. These were very tough times for everyone. Have you heard about Jason? Who is he? That name doesn't sound familiar. But since we are swimming, maybe I could take a guess. Could he be a swimming champion? Wow, you're right, AJ. How did you know that? The first time I learned about him was from a magazine of my father's that had a story about him. The story was about the world championship he participated in in 2004. It was his first major competition where he qualified for a number of races. I spent most of the time indoors watching educative documentaries and listening to music. This is how I discovered Kenya's famous swimming champion, Jason Dunford. As I learned more about him, I silently wished for the day I could once again meet AJ and show him some of the moves I learned from watching Jason. <gasps> Your swimming has really improved, Kim. I think Jason has been a good coach for you. Hey, tell me more about J- J- Jason. I find his story interesting and it sounds like there is so much we can learn from him. Absolutely true, AJ. What made Jason such a great swimmer is the amount of time he spent and the hard work he put in training daily. He also had to be patient with himself when he looked like there was no improvement, but he never gave up and only practiced some more. Wow, Jason sounds like a person with a lot of determination. Someone who pushes through all the things that stand in their way, no matter what. I thought the same about him. Jason qualified for the 2006 Commonwealth Games. His proudest moment was in the 2012 Summer Olympics where he led the Kenyan team of athletes to the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park Stadium in London. He flew the Kenyan flag high with pride, knowing that he could make his country proud that day. Kim, how do you think you can imitate Jason's determined spirit? I think that if we focus on the great things we want to do and put all our energy into making it happen, we can be like Jason. And maybe one day, we can make it to the Olympic swimming and represent our nation. Do you think we would go that <laughs> Deep down, I knew my friend and I would work hard and make ourselves and our country proud for sure. Hi parents, are you enjoying Hummingbird Tales? We'd love your feedback. Connect with us on phone or WhatsApp on 0720-728-592. Or at Pauka Stories on social media. Pakawa.